module, we will be dealing about the inequalities of a triangle. Let us start with inequalities in one triangle. We have the side angle inequality theorem, which states that the longest side is opposite of the largest angle, and the shortest side is the opposite of the smallest angle. We will name the smallest and the largest angles in each triangle. In this example, you need to look at first at the smallest angle, which side is the shortest. So we have side YE and the opposite of side YE is angle X. For the largest angle, you will just look at the longest side, which is side ES, and the opposite of side ES is angle Y. Another example, for the smallest angle, you will just look at the shortest side, which is side IW, and the opposite angle of that side is angle N. For the largest angle, which side is the longest? We have side IN, and IN is the opposite of angle W. Next, let's have the angle side inequality theorem. In here, the largest angle is the opposite of the longest side, and the smallest angle is the opposite of the shortest side. We will name the shortest and the longest side. So using this figure, for the shortest side, you need to look at the smallest angle, that is angle W, and you need to get the opposite side of it, which is side EN. For the longest side, you need to look at the largest angle, which is angle N, and then what is the opposite side of angle N? We have side EW. Next, for this one, for the shortest side, which angle is the smallest? We have angle Y. And angle Y is opposite of side OJ. And then for the longest side, which angle is the largest? We have right angle. It means it measures 90 degrees. So that is the largest angle. And that is angle O. And opposite of the angle O is side JY. Now let's have the third theorem which is side 1 plus side 2 greater than side 3. In any triangle, the sum of the lengths of any two sides is greater than the length of its third side. We need to add the two sides and the sum should be greater than the third side. So in this example, we have side 1, 9 cm, side 2, 5 cm, and side 3, 10 cm. We will add first side 1 plus side 2 and it should be greater than 3. Side 1 is 9 plus side 2 is 5 greater than the measurement of side 3 which is 10. 9 plus 5 is 14. 14 greater than 10. So is 14 greater than 10? Yes, this is correct. Let's have the second one. We will have side 2 plus side 3 should be greater than side 1. Side 2 is 5, side 3 is 10, and it should be greater than side 1 which is 9. We have 5 plus 10, 15, greater than 9, and this is correct. For the third one, we have side 1 plus side 3 greater than side 2. Side 1 is 9, side 3 is 10, and it should be greater than 5. We have 9 plus 10, that is 19, greater than 5. Still, this is correct. Meaning, if you get all yes for all the combinations of sides, the given measurement of the three sides of a triangle can be used as the length of its side. Let's have another example. Determine if the given lengths can be sides of a triangle. We have 6 cm. 22 cm and 10 cm. So first we will add the first and second side. It should be greater than the third side. The first side is 6 plus 22 greater than 10. 6 plus 22 that is 28 greater than 10. 
and this is correct. Let's have the second one. Side 2 plus side 3 should be greater than side 1. Side 2 is 22 plus side 3 is 10 should be greater than 6. 22 plus 10, that is 32, greater than 6. Still, this is a correct statement. Let's have the last one. Side 1 plus side 3 should be greater than side 2. Side 1 is 6 plus side 3 is 10. It should be greater than side 2 which is 22. 6 plus 10 is 16 greater than 22. Is 16 greater than 22? No, it is not. Meaning, these three measurements or lengths can't be the sides of a triangle. Let's have the next theorem. We have the exterior angle inequality theorem. It states that the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is greater than the measure of either of the two remote interior angles. Let us see what is an exterior angle and remote interior angles. So in one triangle, if we extend one side, we will create an exterior angle D. And then the remote angles are the angles far from the exterior angle. So we have here angle E and here angle F. These two are the remote interior angles. In the exterior angle inequality theorem, the measurement of angle D should be greater than the measurement of angle E or the measurement of angle D should be greater than the measurement of angle F. In this figure, let us start with angle X. The measurement of angle X should be greater than the measurement of angle B. Also, the measurement of angle X should also be greater than the measurement of angle C. And let's have angle Y. For angle Y, it is greater than the measurement of angle A. Angle Y is also greater than the measurement of angle C. And for the exterior angle Z, we have the measurement of angle Z is greater than the measurement of angle A. And the measurement of angle Z is also greater than the measurement of angle B. Next is the inequalities in two triangles. Let's start with the hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, and the included angle of the first side is larger than the included angle of the second, then the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. We also call this one as SAS inequality theorem. So you need to look at the included angle of the first if it is larger than the second, meaning the third side of the first triangle is longer than the third side of the second triangle. We will compare the lengths. So in these two triangles, we need to look at RO. From this side, opposite of RO is 28 degrees. And then BE, opposite of BE is 17 degrees. Meaning, RO is greater than BE because 28 degrees is larger than 17 degrees. Next, let's have NR. So looking at the NR, the opposite angle is 87 degrees and BT, the opposite of BT is 96 degrees, which means NR is less than BT. Now let's have the converse of hinge theorem. If two sides of a triangle are congruent to two sides of another, and the third side of the first is longer than the third side of the second, then the included angle in the first triangle is greater than the included angle in the second triangle. So we will just reverse the hinge theorem. In here, you will look at the measurement of the sides in order to get the angles. 
It is also called as the SSS inequality theorem. We will compare the angles. Looking these two triangles, we'll have the third side, which is this side. ON is congruent to ON because of reflexive property. And then we will have angle CON, which is the opposite of side CN, measuring 25. And then we will have angle RON, opposite of side OR, which measures 29. Is 25 greater or less than 29? So it means angle CON is less than the measurement of angle R and O. Let's have the next one. Let's have angle BER. The opposite of angle BER is 5. And angle ARE, which is the opposite of side EA, which is 7. If we compare these two angles because of the measurement of the opposite sides, we can say that angle BER is still less than angle ARE. So those are the inequality theorems for both one triangle and two triangles.